Tell me about Conchita. How did Conchita come to be? Oh, well, um, the story is quite, it's actually not that big as many people think. <laughs> it, actually, everything happened by mistake, if I'm honest. Okay. I, yeah, I got an uh, offer to host a burlesque show, which would be weekly. And I thought, well, let, let's do it in drag. But then I found out I have to shave for that. Right. And I hate my face without the beard. So I said, you know, to the lady who is owning this little... Um, <laughs> So I, I asked her if she would be okay having a bearded lady as a host, and she said, well, sure, go for it. Excellent. And then it just happened. Ah, oh, fantastic. So it was absolutely meant to be. And Eurovision was the thing that really propelled you into the, into the public gaze. I mean, yeah. people knew you before that, but then the whole world knew you. And it was just such a great song, Conchita. Oh. I mean, I was wondering, reaction to you, overwhelmingly positive, would you say, after Eurovision? Do you, has everybody been very kind? Has everybody been very positive towards you? Oh, sure. You know, I mean, if I get invited at places, I expect people to be nice because they wanted me to be there. <laughs> Indeed. But, you know, Absolutely. So obviously, sometimes, I mean, you know, people have opinions, which sure. I think is great. And, and you know, I, I, I made this decision years ago. If I, if I have the chance to focus on the good things in life or negativity, I would always go for the good things. I'm so. with you. You've got to laugh to my own heart. That's exactly what I think. I have to say congratulations to you. You were in Glasgow yes. for the Icon Awards. Exactly. Um, I would imagine that would have been quite good fun. That was <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And, yeah, we, we just spoke about it off camera. Oh, great the fun. <laughs> Scots know how to party. We do. Yeah. We do, actually. You, yeah, yeah. I think you teach people oh, when yeah. it comes to how to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that must have been great fun. And all that. And you're very, very positive positive role model do you feel do you feel that you I mean sometimes that can be quite a responsibility do you find that you know what if I'm completely honest no because I don't see myself as a role model I mean it's you know it's it's flattering and it's nice that people refer to me like that but you know in my little world being a role model is something that you you should put should put an effort on what you do right and I just don't do that you know it comes naturally I have to say things that I that I say and I do the, those mm. things that I need to do sure so I'm, I'm more selfish than a role model I think. <laughs> That's very honest, and I like that. I really do. Your makeup is beautiful. Look Thank at those you eyes. So much. You could paint walls with those eyelashes. Oh, well. My goodness. Does it take a while to get Conchita all together? You know, um, in the beginning, it took me about an hour. Right. But now I'm afraid to actually admit that it's. You know, I believe in a good uniform, and my of face course. is a uniform. Okay. I don't, no experimentals here. <laughs> so I, I just put on the things that I like and it, it's not more than half an hour. But don't tell anyone because okay. if I say I need an hour, you know, I have time you want for to have myself. It. Exactly. So it takes, it takes an, an hour. hour. It takes days. <sighs> days and days and days in the dressing room with you sitting there. Who is your style icon? Who do you like? Who do you sort of think, oh, I like that? Oh, and where I, you get your clothes mm, and where you get your inspiration? I love Victoria Beckham. Ah. I just love her because I think she does understatement like nobody else and she's so chic and timeless. I just... Well, that sort of Audrey Hepburn thing yeah. that, is, that is timeless. She keeps it very classy, but although, you know, I love fashion. And, of course. You know, I'm honoured that, that, uh, that I'm allowed to wear beautiful clothing from the big names in mm. the fashion industry, and I'm very thankful for that. But, you know, even, even in a big, how can I say, even in a big fashion show like Jean-Paul Gaultier's, you find things that, you know, would suit my Victoria Beckham-esque. No, that's very true. Yeah. I understand. And it's OK to be, like, both. You can yeah. be flamboyant. Yeah. And then you can be, you know, understated. It's allowed. Now, look, the album is out. It's out Friday. Um, yeah. It's a debut album. It's got Rise Like a Phoenix in there, of course, and it's You Are Unstoppable, it. which you're going to do for us in just a, a wee yes. second. There's also, Conchita, for people that want to know much more about you, the book is very interesting. Being... Conchita. Yes. So it's all in here. Yes. It's all in here. The whole story of how she came into being exactly. and really how what the, the way ahead is. It's a joy. I wish I had loads more time to talk to you. Yeah, I, really, I wish I could more time to get makeup tips <laughs> and hair tips. You could do an advert for hair. You should. Hair is you must. easy. I mean, you know, I just, you know, it's, 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 the, the hair is done before I need it. So that's, that's perfect. <laughs> that sounds a bit probably to do it.